Well, now our next part is GSM frequency allocation. So GSM uses a 900 megahertz band wherein 890 to 915 megahertz is allocated for uplink. That is uh, from base station to base station and uh, 930 to 960 megahertz for downlink that is base station to mobile station. Okay. Each way bandwidth uh, for the GSM system is 25 megahertz which provides the 125 carry uh, carriers uh, for uh, uplink and downlink in China having a 200 kilohertz uh, bandwidth. So that means these 900 to uh, uplink and downlink connections are distributed uh, as per 25 megahertz, uh, megahertz frequency and uh, this 25 megahertz frequency is again distributed into 125, uh, uh, 125 frequencies uh, of uh, 200 kilohertz bandwidth. Okay? So ARFC and absolute radio frequency channel numbers uh, denote a forward and reverse channel pair which is separated in frequency by 45 megahertz uh, frequency. So uh, there is a gap between the uplink and downlink frequency. So that gap is nothing but the 45 megahertz and uh, which is separated uh, your forward and reverse channel uh, pair of your uh, uh, frequency channel numbers. Okay. So practically a guard of band, uh, guard band of uh, 100 kilohertz is provided uh, at the uh, upper and lower layer end of JSM 900 megahertz spectrum and only 124 channels are implemented. We have discussed this in the first lecture that uh, 125 channels of uh, 900 frequency megahertz are distributed but along with that 125 megahertz only 124 channels are uh, used and one is uh, used for uh, reservation. Okay, So let's uh, see how this uh, frequency is uh, allocated to uh, each and every channel. Uh, before that, uh, we have to use the two kind of uh, uh, technique that is frequency uh, division and multi uh, time division multiple access. So it gives a better functionality over a network uh, because uh, number of frequency, uh, a single frequency is distributed in, uh, into number of channels and uh, uh, you can use this frequency along with uh, uh, specific uh, amount of time okay so one or more carrier frequencies are assigned to each base station and each of the carrier frequencies is then divided in time using TDMA okay so uh, approximate its uh, fundamental unit is called as a burst period and uh, having a burst period time is uh, 0 0.577 millisecond okay so uh, there are eight burst periods are grouped into TDMA frame and approximately 4.615 millisecond which forms the uh, basic unit for the definition of goal, uh, logical channels okay so 0 0.577 uh, multiply by 8 okay so these are all about uh, your uh, TDMA frame structure one physical channel uh, is one burst period per TDMA frame while normally channels are defined by the number and position of their corresponding burst period so uh, let us uh, look out over here so this is considered as a uplink and this is considered as a downlink okay uh, we have seen that 900 uh, 890 megahertz to uh, frequency is starting from uh, your uplink and uh, 935 onwards you can consider it as a downlink okay and uh, there are uh, both having a 125 channel apart from one is a reserve channel and 124 channel are up to having a 200 kilohertz frequency okay 200 kilohertz frequency for both and uh, there is a gap okay see over here there is a separation uh, of uh, 45 megahertz for a uh, distribution allocation uh, frequency allocation uh, just like an operating system operating system requires a specific phase uh, for operation uh, of your whole system so there is a, a reserve gap for 45 megahertz for your operation or extra uh, space is allow, provided over here. So these 24, uh, 124 uh, frequency uh, having a 200 kilohertz frequency bands, each and every channel having a 200 kilohertz. So these allocated to your uh, TDMA. This is a frequency division structure over here. This is a frequency division and this is a time division okay time division structure so these uplink connection are uh, started and this uh, uh, downlink connection is uh, 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 having a eight slot okay 
downlink connection having 8 slot, uplink connection having a 8 slot. Okay, so there is a uh, three uh, delay of three time slots uh, because uh, uh, establishment is uh, going to take place first of all. So after completion of these three, uh, the number one channel is started over here. Okay, so the burst time for these. Uh, uh, average burst time is nothing but your 576.9 micro uh, microseconds uh, for uh, 150.156.25 bit. Okay, so this is all about your frequency allocation structure. Okay, frequency allocation structure over here. Okay. Thank you.